lot of people were skeptical about me living in a van through a Minnesota winter. And then I did it. You know, I survived minus 15 degree nights in the van, no problem, super comfortable. And then when I said, hey, I'm gonna take my family to live in the van and travel the country through winter, uh, a lot more people were skeptical, but here we are in Idaho. Last night it was below freezing. I have my two-year-old son and my wife in the car. They're, they're just kind of snoozing and taking it easy this morning, and I'm going for a walk. And it's, it's not a blizzard, but it's a really fluffy snow. It's making everything white. You can't even see the mountains because it's so thick. A few things that we've learned to make winter van life more comfortable window insulation that was the easiest purchase you know the getting reflectix and cutting it out to fit each window makes a world of difference um and the next one was getting a mr buddy heater i was very skeptical about it i did lots of research on the subject of running a mr buddy heater in such an enclosed space but we keep two windows cracked to make sure that there's cross ventilation and uh, I actually have a small propane tank that sits in an enclosed box that is vented to the outside. It was actually really quite easy to make. I made it in a, I built it in a park uh, in, in the city while I was living in the van. But so this box vents to the outside and the propane tank sits inside it. And then there's a hose running out of the box to the Mr. Buddy heater. So we have plenty of propane to last us a couple of nights. On the first night that we tried sleeping in the van in the winter, we found out that we had way too many blankets. Because we have the heater in there and the Reflectix covering the window, it gets up to 70, 80 degrees. We only needed a couple of blankets. When we had this big pile of blankets, we had no room, it was super uncomfortable. So we got rid of a couple of blankets and now we just sleep with a thin sheet and a comforter. The one issue that we ran into was going to the bathroom when you wake up in the morning and it's below freezing outside, the last thing we want to do is crawl out of the car into uh, the snow. So we do have a little portable toilet that we have used inside the van. We try not to because, you know, it stinks up that little small space pretty quickly. But as long as you use the toilet and then set it outside the door right away, it actually isn't too bad. And uh, but we do, we try to make it to like a gas station or a rest stop as soon as we can in the morning so that we can avoid that at all costs. So if you guys are thinking about traveling through the winter and living in your van, I say go for it. Just make sure that if you are gonna use a propane system, you keep the tank outside of the van while you're using it or make a specific enclosure that vents any leaked propane outside of the van because you know having that inside the van is very dangerous. Um, but if you get that figured out, it's pretty easy from there. I say go for it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Goodbye and be safe. Ha, ha, ha.